President Trump will not turn over documents House Democrats they want supporting placement of a citizenship question on next year's census. The president's assertion of executive privilege comes as his eldest son makes a return visit to a key Senate committee. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has specifics tonight from Capitol Hill. On this vote, we have 24 yeas and 15 noes. The House Oversight Committee voted to send a contempt resolution for Attorney General William Barr and Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross to the full House after the administration asserted executive privilege over census records. This begs the question, what is being hidden? When we rush to hold people in contempt, it has a chilling effect on anybody wanting to go the extra mile. The administration argues the census question was added to improve compliance with the Voting Rights Act. But Democrats are demanding to review internal deliberations, alleging the census question may discourage minority participation, in turn impacting congressional races as well as federal money. One Democrat cited her immigrant mother, now a U.S. citizen. When they ask her about that in her question, it's going to make her hesitate, even though she's been in this country for four decades. Thank and we all know that's exactly their true intent here. Republicans Democrats accuse their the colleagues of overreach. Democrats know the Supreme Court will rule by the end of this month on the citizenship question. But they hope to use this committee's oversight power to create a controversy around this issue, try to impact the court's decision. During an Oval Office meeting, the president called out Democrats over their demands for census and Russia records. We gave them everything. We were the most transparent presidency in history. So now the Democrats want to try and win an election. And I think the American public's not going to stand for it. What are you going to say today? Behind closed doors, Donald Trump Jr. fielded questions from Senate investigators over apparent conflicts between his earlier testimony and that of Michael Cohen, the president's former personal attorney who played guilty to lying in financial crime. Crimes. At issue, apparent discrepancies over the 2016 Moscow real estate project that never materialized, and the June 2016 Trump Tower meeting, where Russian lawyer promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. I don't think I changed anything of what I said because there was nothing to change. Uh, I'm glad that this is finally over. We're able to put uh, some final clarity on that. Late today, the offices for Attorney General Barr and Secretary Ross issued statements on the House contempt vote, calling it, quote, shameless and, quote, undermines Congress's credibility with the American people. Separately, the House Judiciary Committee confirmed that former White House Communications Director Hope Hicks will submit to a transcribed interview next week. Hope is currently the executive vice president and chief communications officer for the Fox Corporation. Brett. Captain Harris, live on the Hill. Captain, thank you.